This place is kind of different. Something's up. Organization 13? Oh, yeah, oh, yes. Only one way to find out. Aztec treasury? Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living nor the dead. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me. Ah, but in the moonlight. Whoa! Now I get what you were saying. Hmm. Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it! That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Men, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Aw, oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? <laughs> It's no use. We can't beat them. I what do you expect? <laughs> you best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out! They could see you! Stay away from their magic! What for? Weren't you listening to me before? Hey Pete, thanks for the tip. <laughs> kidnapped my swan and took her to their ship. Now they've sailed, and I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. You! What are you doing aboard the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. She'll make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. Take me with you. Help me hunt down the Black Pearl and save Miss Swan. I got you out of that jail cell, Sparrow. Do this, and your debt's repaid. You'll have to win Fair Lady's Heart alone, mate. I see no profit in it for me. Come on, Captain. Are you sure you can sail her? All on your own? You've a point there. Thanks, Sparrow. 
Captain Sparrow. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. I'm Will Turner. That will be short for William, I imagine. No doubt name for your father, eh? Yes. Well then, Mr. Turner, you get us ready to make way. I have some effects to liberate. Aye, aye. But hurry. Naturally. Sora. You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. What do you make of this Will? I don't know. We just met him. Uh, I think my luck's about to change. You can release me. You have your trinket. I'm of no further value to you. This is no trinket, Missy. This is cursed Aztec gold. One of 882 identical pieces they delivered in a stone chest to Cortez himself. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. That's exactly what I thought. Buried on an island of dead, what cannot be found except for those who know where it is. Find it we did. There be the chest. Inside be the gold. And we took them all. We spent them and traded them and fritted them away on drink and food and pleasurable company. The more we gave them away, the more we came to realize the drink would not satisfy and food turned to ash in our mouths. We are cursed men, Miss Turner. Compelled by greed we were, but now we are consumed by it. How very sad for you. <laughs> There is one way we can end our curse. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be gathered and restored to the stone chest. And the blood of every soul who touched a piece of the treasure must be repaid. Miss Turner, for ten years we've searched every league of these waters, every town and village, preying on sailors and settlers alike. 881 pieces we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. All those years, you've been safe in your bed, reading your pirate stories, dreaming of adventures in the high seas. We've endured torments worse than death itself. But now, thanks to ye, we have the final piece at last. When this medallion is restored to the chest, we'll be free to roam the seas as men. No longer will we be ghosts. And the blood that's to be repaid? That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. <gasps> you see, the moonlight shows us for what we really are. We are not among the living. And so we cannot die. But neither are we dead. I've suffered too long. You'd best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. For you see tonight, you're in one. Peace that went astray, we have returned, save for this. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. Quick, they're after us! We'll hold them off. Give us a sign when the ship's ready to sail. Right. We'll light the signal fire. The 
the signal! And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever! No, not yet. We wait for the opportune moment. When it's of greatest profit to you? May I ask you something? Have I ever given you reason not to trust me? Stay here, and try not to do anything stupid. <gasps> Be gone by blood. By blood, undone. You, mate! Your father! Was your father William Turner? No. What's going on? Who brought this wench yeah. to us? She What's said her name about? was Turner. Come on. Why isn't it working? You need more blood. Get on you with idiots. it. Hurry. You there. The medallion. After them, you ingrates. Is it true? You gave Barbosa my name instead of yours. Why choose my name? I don't know. Elizabeth, where did you get that? It's yours. From that day we found you, drifting at sea. After all this time, I thought I lost it. It was a gift from my father. He sent it to me. I'm sorry. Why did you take it? Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. That would have been awful. Of course. Don't you see? It wasn't your blood they needed. It was my father's blood. My blood. The blood of a pirate. How the blazes did you get off that island, Jack? When you sailed away in my ship and marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land with naught but a pistol and a single shot, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I won't be making that mistake again. Then what say you to putting the past behind us, untying these ropes, and let me negotiate the return of your medallion, eh? What say you to that? Seeing as how the Black Pearl's mine now, Jack, letting you go doesn't seem to fall within my interest. Odd. I'm not actually concerned with your interest. Give me back the pearl! Arr. All right. Lock him in the brig. We're coming up on the interceptor. What do we do, Captain? What do you think, you idiot? Will, look! Right now! I wonder what Jack would do. I'm not sure. I suppose... He'd run for it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, wow! Uh, Will! <laughs> <laughs>